And I will request that we be very careful between now and tomorrow. Kama numbinyo, tafadhali wacha. Because that is where the spoiled vote might come from. Tomorrow. I also want to say that uh, if you are having a meal, be very careful on what you are eating. Because we also don't want you to be absent tomorrow. I'm saying it with a light touch, but it is extremely serious. Very serious. Because wale jamao ingine, right now, I'm sure you have seen, siomenda masaido. Wanapanga yao. Which means they are not giving up. Even tomorrow, they want to put up a fight. So, this fight means that our movement between now and until you have elected the speaker and the deputy in both chambers, you must be very careful because you might be hijacked, you might go missing, And that can have a very serious impact on what we want to achieve. So, Mimi Kama Nduguyenu, Kwaniaba Ya Wenzango, I'm just saying that we have to be extra cautious until the deed is done. Until the deed is done. We have to be extremely cautious because there are so many ways of skinning a cat and we have seen that we have been dealing with adversaries who will not hesitate to use any means within their disposal to achieve what they want to achieve. And they have been defeated in the field, they have been defeated in the Supreme Court, their last call of battle is in the Parliament and you are our line of defense. And you have told us that uh, you want to continuously engage with elected leaders and your meetings will be conducted with decorum and respect so that leaders can inform you of what one and she are saying and you can also be able to engage them. So it's again is that background that this meeting has been called as a housekeeping meeting to agree on the way forward as we form government, as we take over the Senate and the National Assembly, so that uh, our leader can engage us and give us a way forward, and uh, we discuss and then we agree on how to move on. So I want to confirm to you that uh, these meetings will be continuous and they'll be conducted in a nice manner, so that uh, tonight should be I really first want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for giving me even that opportunity to obtain the ballot as the Deputy Speaker Senate. So that privilege already is an honor to me, my family, and the great people of Meru County. So, Your Excellency Nashkuru, Honorable President, Nashkuru Sarah.